Thank you so much for coming tonight, Yoshi. I um, really appreciate it. And also so excited that there's been an announcement today about a new round of funding. Do you want to tell me like what brought you into the fintech area and your, why you're on that this focus? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, I've been in the uh, big financial institutions for like about uh, six years. Okay. And after that, I did full-time day trading personally by myself for three years. So I felt like, you know, I had both experience of like individ doing individual and like you know, working for the big institutions. I felt really there's a gap between being a completely individual without any support and like, you know, being in, in the institutions where you have access to everything. So I always felt like, you know, they kind of paying for needs that you know i had to go through during i was doing the uh, day trading mm. so uh that was like really one of the motivations that i wanted to utilize technology to help those individuals like who's trading uh not professionally but like you know casually or like independently so that was really my original motivation so really you felt the pain so you created a solution for that Right. Uh, at least we're trying hard to create a solution for that. Yes. <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous. And congratulations on this new round of funding. You must be absolutely thrilled. Um, I'm, I'm very focused on um, helping entrepreneurs um, around the venture capital uh, issue. So I was wondering if you could give some advice about, you know, what you see have been the challenges for you and also possibly the strengths of being in a fintech business. So I think the challenge is always like how to create the business model because like you know, fintech does uh, involve a lot of regulations and un unless you go over the regulation by some kind of licensing, you may not be able to create the business models that you want to create. So it's been very difficult to uh, structure the kind of phase-by-phase -phase milestones to make sure that it's actually realistic for the investors and potential investors. So that has been pretty difficult. In terms of the FinTech, um, I think for me, because like we've been doing a little bit of the different thing before doing Alpaca uh, as more of the pure technology company, compared to that, I feel like you know, FinTech does involve money and capital. So it's more easier in the sense to kind of talk about this is gonna be actually profitable and it does involve cash. So in that sense, it's better to be FinTech, I guess. Okay, so there's some ease with being a financial company, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but there's some challenges in, in being a little bit disruptive or something innovative right. as your company would be. Yeah? Correct, yes. So, um, um, and what would you see have been the, has been the biggest issue for you in your journey with your company? So uh, we do have uh, two uh, kind of headquarters, uh, not headquarters, but offices, uh, one in Tokyo, Japan, and one in San Mateo. And uh, you know, we have a headquarter in the San Mateo, but you know, we do have some customers in Japan as well. So it's been pretty difficult to kind of remotely manage our team in Tokyo to deal with the uh, customer base in uh, Japan and Asia. So those management has been always uh, difficult and how to kind of split the resource between what we're doing here and what you know we're doing in Tokyo. And will this new round of funding help? Oh yes, very definitely. Uh, you know we were able to actually get a lot of support from the uh, not only like financial related uh, venture capital firms, but also like more of the kind of uh, like one of the very happiest thing that uh, the investors came was like from IDEO, uh, like design firm. So we're not really doing as a fintech as like you know finance finance, but really something that you know we focus on communication and design. So uh, it's, it's been very like exciting to have those like, great investor base this time. Fantastic. So um, something I like to ask is if there, there's been any sort of funny thing that's happened in the course of you um, developing your business. Yes, yeah, so um, it's been, because like, you know, we are a technology company at the core, so we wanted to make, name the company as pretty like lively. And we saw the uh, uh, animals in this wood side is a lot of rich people live and we saw like a bunch of like 20 or 30 alpacas as pets in one of the gorgeous houses. So we actually felt if we can be successful, uh, you know, alpacas should symbolize the success in the Silicon Valley. And we named our company like a little bit, uh, you know, after the alpacas. And actually like every time we pitch about our company, people do remember because Alpaca is just easy and cute and funny looking, but at the same time for us, it's a kind of symbol of the success as well. So, you know, uh, it's working actually very well and we're very, you know, happy and we think it's pretty funny that, you know, people love alpacas. 
Um, it is. It makes it very easy to remember. I know when I first met you virtually, definitely. And um, do you take alpacas along with you when you're doing any PR? <laughs> Actually, we are thinking about doing that, and we started actually doing that uh, in our uh, daily uh, meeting to kind of hunt around, not real alpacas, obviously, but like you know, alpaca mascots. So we're going to do that from next time. How fun. That's so fabulous. Well, you need a bit of fun with all the hard work you've got in front of you, for sure. Thank you so much for coming, and I'm so looking forward to this panel. Everyone seems very enthusiastic about wanting to hear what you guys have got to say. Yes, thank you very much, and thank you very much for uh, inviting us.